So I'm uh, Vice President for Food and Drink for Carlson Residor in Europe, Middle East and Africa. My role is really about providing support to hotels uh, to develop the quality and commerciality of their food and drink operations, including uh, restaurants, bars, uh, meetings and events. Currently um, we've got quite a lot going on in terms of uh, a lot of openings, lots of renovations. We have a, a, a massive investment um, plan going on uh, predominantly in the Nordics over the next three years. Uh, we're also developing a new brand, Ransom Red, uh, in association with our partners in Minneapolis. And uh, yeah, it's exciting times. Okay, so this event is, uh, seems to me a, a, a very suitable to, to attend. Um, it's a growing area for us. We're opening uh, 15 hotels in the region uh, in the next two years. Um, so it makes sense to be part of the, the dialogue and discussion that's going on with the massive emergence of food and drink operations in the area uh, and to be part of that scene and hopefully to contribute something to it. Uh, the food and drink industry in this area is growing dramatically. Uh, um, we've seen a massive growth in uh, cities like Bucharest, where uh, we were main player in, in restaurants and bars for, for the few years after we've opened, and now we've seen a massive uh, upsurge in in number of restaurants and bars opening uh, new hotels with meetings and events facilities. Um, so clearly. Uh, the market is maturing quite rapidly, um, and you know this is something that we're we're used to. Uh, we're the biggest player in Russia still, but we have uh, growing competition. Um, so we're used to dealing with it, and the trick is obviously to try and keep improving all the time, uh, so we can uh, maintain market position. The thing that's really interesting me at the moment is uh, the whole notion of neurogastronomy and um, and how it uh, how the mind is impacted by uh, things like service vibe design, uh, obviously food presentation and drink presentation and theatre, um, but it, it's these are something that the, the, these are things that are not new, uh, but it's understanding what impact they have on the human mind. Uh, is what has really only started to come to the fore in the last few years in our industry, uh, whereas in other industries, take supermarkets for instance, it's been there for quite some time. So it's a fascinating world uh, and the whole psychology of it really interests me. I guess I'm really passionate about quality and that sounds kind of trite, uh, but uh, really I, I expect the best and want to deliver the best all the time um, and I'm a great believer that driving quality in, in the markets in which we operate, be it upscale or mid-scale, um, really makes uh, the difference in, in commercial return. So quality is what we're all about. Uh, I get terribly obsessed and excited about it uh, to the extent that people find it a little bit dull, I'm sure, but there you are. My job is all about influencing people uh, rather than directing, so I'm constantly trying to explain to people why they should do certain things and what the commercial benefits are uh, for these strategies that, that we put in place. Um, the selling in process of course can be frustrating for, for as a former general manager used to uh, a more direct approach. Uh, this is the biggest challenge of my job, but it's also the most rewarding when you can get people uh, on board and believing in you and your strategies, uh, that becomes um, yeah, very, very rewarding and satisfying. I think if, if one uh, takes the hotel industry as separate to uh, the retail restaurant and bars um, uh, sector, 
Um, one of the things that frustrates me most is, is our obsession with formality and the stiffness that goes on in some hotels and some hotel groups uh, to date. And, and, you know, it's, we're, not, uh, you know, we're not squeaky clean by any, any stretch of the imagination in, in that respect. Uh, but this, this drive towards casualization, which one sees uh, so prolifically um, in, in the marketplace, is something that, that we're trying to achieve at the moment. And it frustrates me to see that sort of hotelier approach to everything.